Hello, welcome back to IT Security. This is week two of my path to getting CISSP certified. Last week, I started a journey to get this certification. Uh, this is the Certified Information Systems Security Professional exam that I will be taking after 16 weeks of studying. I decided to update you on my path and my progress and also to let you know the resources that I'm using just in case that might help someone else out there. After posting my first video, I got a lot of feedback from people, a lot of resources that I didn't even know existed. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you my progress from last week, where I am today and the new resources that I've learned about and a little change that I've made to my study plan that I think will help me be successful. So last week, my goal was to read four first four chapters of this book that's about um 149 pages so that's this many pages out of the whole book and there's about 900 pages in this book so 125 out of 900 uh four chapters was what i did last week i studied mostly at night after work because i do have a full-time job so uh, that was mostly during the week because, uh, because of the nature of my job, I actually also had to work on Saturday because of, I know, you can only take networks down during the weekend. So most of what I did was during the week, right before bed, I would spend about an hour or two reading the book. And also when I got extra time, I also went through the cyber course, course um, video material, I learned better when I, watch videos so i watched the videos that also cover the same four chapters which really helps reinforce the knowledge that i have i'm lucky that um through my ccna cyber operations which i took using this book i passed this exam last year in 2018 and also from my ccna security which i read this book there is a little overlap of some of the knowledge in here, like the AAA information I already had to know it for uh, CCNA cyber operation. Next part that I wanted to add is that um, someone from uh, the community also sent me a link to FR Secure's mentorship program. FR Secure is a company right here in Minneapolis that actually offers free mentorship program. I had no idea they existed. Someone from the online communities that I interact with suggested that I look at it. And it just happened that um, this coming week, that's when their mentorship program starts. So it will start tomorrow. And it's a two hour webinar that I'll be attending every Wednesday and Monday. And I'll be with, I'll be with them and also uh, hopefully absorb whatever information they have so in addition to my regular plan that i had i'm also going to be attending the webinars and also hopefully hang out with like-minded people who are also going through the same program that i am so i'm very excited i will have a link to the program uh, below but uh i could not go to the in-person sessions because I, I was too late otherwise that their offices are actually a few miles from my house but if anything opens up or if other people drop out of the program i'll probably be showing up in person otherwise uh i do believe that i have enough resources for now and my journey still continues i realize that this is not going to be a simple exam there's a lot of information that i need to absorb there's a lot of uh terminology and for those who know a little bit about me know that I do like to do labs. That's why I went for Cisco certifications. That's why I enjoyed the CCNP path. But uh, the CISSP sounds like it's mostly memorizing uh, terminologies a lot and understanding principles a lot. And there isn't much of any labs. So to alleviate that part, I've been taking the practice test right after reading the book or the next day so uh this is the official practice test guide that i've been taking so this is as close as i can get to my labs otherwise guys that's it for the week i'll be updating you guys next week about uh the webinar 
from FR Secure that I'm attending for free, the free mentorship webinar. And also I will be letting you know about my progress and if there's anything that I would have uh, observed during this path. Otherwise guys, if you have any suggestions for me, as always, let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to be notified next week when I do post another update. I'll see you next time.